Hey everybody, this is Buff Larkin from the Big Bang Podcast here for our comic talk this week about the books that I got. And by God, my bag was thicker this weekend. When I looked in and found out why, it's because it's annual time for DC Comics. And you know something? I, I got two this week. I didn't pick up the Superman or anything like that. I thought they were kind of... Uh, but this, I picked up Green Lantern number one. Excellent. Jeff Johns and Ethan doing some great artwork. Excellent book. Takes care of what ha Wow. I like how the fact that the Guardians have all of a sudden turned bad now. That's their vision and only their vision and they're wiping out the... They want to wipe out the Green Lanterns. I like it. Let's just hope that this Guardian thing stays the course and they don't go back to being the good guys. If you're going to go this way with the Guardians, go that way. Finish them off. You have some backups now. They can fill in. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's happy. Guardians have played their thing for the last how many years? Let's give them a nice right off into the sunset. A nice green sunset. Also in the annual department, we have Justice League International. That team of uh, poor unfortunate bastards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I've picked up their book since issue one. I have thoroughly enjoyed the book. You know, at least when Jurgen's writing, there's a bit of surprises. Unfortunately for this, this was the brand. Let's just take them down. They had a nice fun. Series is over. Let's have one annual. Wipe them out. Establish a new bad guy or a new old bad guy. And uh, and go from there. Jason Fabok, again, does an excellent job in artwork. He, he, he uh, just did awesome in Batman. Again, he did awesome here. And, of course, it sets up with the whole kiss thing with uh, Superman and Wonder Woman because, you know, you can't kiss a woman without any trouble. I'll tell you that much right now. Just from history. I get two kids because of it. <laughs> but we'll talk about the kiss later on. Uh, also, this week we got Batman Incorporated number three, The Return of Matthew Malone. Excellent issue. Great. I just, I'm just, i just excited about Batman Inc. It's setting it all up. It's great. It's it's going to be, and it's got to introduce a new character with Robin, with what, Red Wing. It's just, it's nice. It's a nice little tip of the hat to history. We also had All-Star Western number 12 that came out. Jonah Hex, still in Gotham, still dealing with his brand of justice. It was, it was an excellent, excellent book. And this time, the spotlight was more on Tallulah. And so she took care of business. It was actually a very good read. They continue to be one of the better books in the DCU. And now, let's get to our good, the bad, and the ugly of the week. The good, the good, the by God good. It is I, Vampire number 12. This whole last couple storylines have kind of got me kind of um, worried about the, the future of I, Vampire. And then they had to go and show me the last two pages. And by goodness, it's stoked me once again with how excited I am to read the next following issues. What happens? It's always changeable. It's not the status quo. The status quo is there always change. That is the status quo. I, Vampire, great read. Now, the bad... Let's turn bad. It's Justice League Dark. I'm sorry. I, I thought I would like them when I picked up issue number one and then we changed over to Jeff Lemire. It just has gotten to a certain level of blah for me. I You know, I've tried. It just none of these characters are feeling it for me. Uh, not even Con You think Constine would, but he's kind of like, he feels like Constine with handcuffs. That's the weird part. So as much as they're trying to get into the dark around the magical stuff, it's still it's not doing it for me, unfortunately. And then let's get to the ugly. And yes, here we go. It's the big old kiss. Justice League number 12. Superman, Wonder Woman giving a big kiss. Finally, two lonesome souls finally meeting each other for some getting it on so to speak. I look back in the whole year and it's been a year of wasted opportunities. I feel like maybe this was the, this was the whole thing for the whole year was this kiss. And it's like, I bought all those issues just for that. You know, you, you do a six issue storyline introducing dark side. Great. Then you'd have a couple fill in issues. Great. And then you have this other, this new bad guy. It just felt like now that this is all that was setting up to was this big next step. And it was like, you can step on without me. That's the sad part about that. But that is our book talk for the day. Thank you very much, everybody, for checking us out. Check us out on our website, coolhotbuzz.com. Also, on like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We have the stuff down there in the bottom. And, of course, subscribe if you'd love to. We'd be your best friends if you could. <laughs> and until next time, keep banging, everybody.